What's up? Welcome back to another episode of The Source. Two episodes today. So this one's college picks for tonight. There's a lot of basketball on. So I got six college picks first. And then in a couple hours, I will put up an NBA episode too. So let's get into the NCAA picks. Welcome to The Source. Hey, get The Source. The Source. Source. The Source. Hey, get The Source. First game up, we got South Carolina versus Arkansas. This line opened South Carolina plus six and a half. Gamecocks getting six and a half points at home here. Um, early bets actually were favoring South Carolina, but take a look at the money. 99% of the early money is in on Arkansas. From there, throughout the rest of the day, though, there would be some South Carolina money that started to come in. Um, as of 1.30 p.m., it was up to 34% South Carolina. So the Gamecocks bets are coming in. I'm taking the Gamecocks here. They've had a rough season, but they have had some success as a home underdog. Um, I like them to keep this game close. Give me South Carolina plus six and a half. Let's lock it in for one unit. If anything changes, I will tweet it out and put it on my Instagram story. Next game. Next game up, Alabama versus Auburn. This line opened Alabama laying 10 and a half points at home. Um, early bets were actually favoring Auburn, but all the sharp money in the entire world was on the Crimson Tide. Although the bets would eventually even out, the money would stay pinned on Alabama for the rest of the day. Uh, consensus line jumped from 10 and a half up to 11. Listen, this one's simple. Sharif Cooper is listed as doubtful last I read. If Sharif Cooper doesn't play, Auburn is awful, and this is a must play for Alabama. So I'm gonna assume he doesn't play. I'm betting Alabama here. Give me Alabama minus 10 and a half for one and a half units here. One and a half units on this one. Let's lock it in. If anything changes, I will tweet it out and put it on my Instagram story next game. Next game up, Georgetown versus Xavier. Uh, Big East game here. This line opened Georgetown getting two points at home. Early bets were actually favoring the Hoyas, but sharp money on Xavier. This would eventually cause the consensus line to jump from two up to two and a half. At which point we do see some Georgetown Hoyas money come in. Nothing significant though. I'm taking the hometown Hoyas here. Give me Georgetown plus two and a half at home. Let's lock that in for another unit and a half here. If anything changes, I will tweet it out and put it on my Instagram story. Next game. Next game up, Texas Tech versus TCU. This line opened Texas Tech laying 12 and a half points here to TCU. Early bets were about even, but look at all this money in on Texas Tech. By 11 a.m., 86% of the money on the Red Raiders. No changes in the analytics in the afternoon. I'm gonna skip right to the pick, and I'm betting TCU here. Texas Tech has not impressed me recently, and I know they've played a really rough schedule, but the truth is they have really not shown us much in the last handful of games. 12 and a half is a lot of points. I like TCU to keep it somewhat close. Give me TCU plus 12 and a half points. Let's lock it in for one unit. If anything changes, I will tweet it out and put it on my Instagram story. Next game. Next game up, Michigan State versus Indiana. This line opened Spartans laying three and a half points here. And although the bets were kind of even, 92% of the early money was in on Michigan State. The rest of the day was kind of a big flip-flop because right after that, a bunch of Indiana money would come in. Consensus line would drop from three and a half to two and a half. And then right when it gets down to two and a half, a bunch of Michigan State money comes in and it jumps from two and a half back up to three. So here we are, the line is Michigan State minus three. And I think it's about 72, 73% of the money at this point is in on the Spartans. I have to play Michigan State here. Michigan State just beat Indiana like three or four games ago at Indiana. Now they're at home and now Indiana has lost their second leading scorer and best guard. He's done for the season, I believe. He's definitely not playing tonight. Give me Michigan State minus three here. Let's lock it in for one unit. If anything changes, I will tweet it out and put it on my Instagram story next game. Next game up, Georgia Tech versus Duke. This line open Georgia Tech laying two points to the Blue Devils here. Um, early bets were favoring Georgia Tech, but the money was pretty much split even. The rest of the day would be all Duke Blue Devil sharp money coming in. 76% of the money at 1.30 p.m. was in on Duke, and the line dropped from two down to one and a half. I'm gonna fade Duke here. I'm gonna fade the sharp money and play Georgia Tech here. Give me Georgia Tech laying one and a half points at home. Let's lock it in for one unit. If anything changes, I will tweet it out and put it on my Instagram story. So that's it for the college games. Remember, in about an hour and a half, two hours, I'm gonna upload my NBA episode, and I think I have five NBA picks. Definitely four, possibly five. So make sure you check this out. Come back around 5 p.m., 5.30 p.m. Eastern time.